Welcome to Second Opinion, the reviews show here on the Nexus. I am your host, Ian R. Buck, and today I will be reviewing The Pizza Rack by Specialized. Find the show notes for this episode at thenexus.tv slash SO89. So The Pizza Rack is a uh, bike cargo rack that goes on your front fork. Um, It has a flat platform on top and rails on the sides for attaching panniers to. Uh, The Pizza Rack costs $90. For capacity, um, this cargo rack uh, has a listed weight limit of 15 kilograms. Um, which, uh, for reference is, uh, probably it's a little bit more than three 12 packs of soda. The top platform of the rack is approximately the dimensions of your standard size pizza, which is definitely how it got its name. Um, I highly recommend getting a cargo net to go with this, um, this rack so that you can just like place whatever you want on top of it, regardless of like size or shape. And then you can just still secure it down using this net. Um, I suppose you could also get, you could like get some sort of basket that you strap to the top of it. Um, but then you're kind of like constraining the dimensions of like what kinds of things you can fit on top of this rack. So I like, I really like having just um, just a cargo net um, that's made of like you know bungee material. The largest item that I have ever carried with this thing was a garbage bag full of leaves. That's definitely not the heaviest thing that I've carried, um, but you know because this nice wide platform that's just flat, um, we were able to put the uh, garbage bag on top, and then we used the cargo net. Not really as a full cargo net to surround the entire garbage bag, um, but just used it as like a bungee cord to kind of um, hold hold that, uh, that garbage bag um, in place so that it wouldn't fall off. Uh, that, was, that was quite an adventure. Look for a picture of that in the show notes. Um, the heaviest items that I have uh, carried is definitely like when I was grocery shopping for um, the... Uh, snacks for game club at school uh, and I just loaded up like three 12 packs of soda and then like a few boxes of pop tarts and whatever whatever Um, so I've gotten pretty darn close to that 15 kilogram weight limit I may have actually gone over I'm not sure Um, but it's uh, you know it, it handles it really well versatility so the railings on the sides of this rack um, for panniers are pretty well placed to like approximate the size and shape of like a rear cargo rack um so but you know it's not a guarantee that like any panniers that you get for your rear rack are going to work on the pizza rack um it is more likely than like with a lot of front racks i've seen you know a lot of front racks are just kind of like these really small little like I don't know, triangles of, of, um, railings that, um, just, you know, kind of extend just above the, the, the axle of your wheel. Um, and you know, those small ones are definitely not going to be appropriate for most rear, um, panniers, but the pizza rack is more likely to fit a rear pannier. The uh, the tubes on this rack are rather thick. They're like 13 millimeters, I think. And um, so you, you might have some challenges getting, you know, hooks uh, from your panniers uh, over, over those railings. Um, but yeah, th- this is all compatibility stuff that you definitely want to check uh, before you like actually buy um, either, you know, panniers to go with the pizza rack or uh, buying the pizza rack to go with your panniers. Uh, for me personally, um, I use the Ortlieb Back Roller Classics as my main bags. Um, listen to the last episode of Second Opinion to hear my thoughts on that. Um, and uh, those work both on my rear racks and on my front racks. Um, I did explore, I, I tried to buy uh, the Ortlieb Gravel Packs, which is the um, very similar to the back rollers, but um, they're, you know, the variant that's meant for going on to uh, front racks. And uh, the, the Gravel Pack wasn't able to fit on the Pizza Rack, which was, which was kind of wild um, because, like, it wasn't tall enough 
the bag itself wasn't tall enough for its bottom hooks to be able to hook onto uh, the the railings of the pizza rack. Um, so I just have four back rollers, um, two on my rear rack and two on my front rack, and that gives me all the cargo capacity that I could ask for. To attach the pizza rack to your bike, you do have to make sure that your front fork has mounting points on like the sides of the fork, and then also uh, one on the front of your fork at the top. Um, turns out the front fork on my bike has one on the back at the top, which is normally used for like attaching uh, fenders, but it didn't have one at the front. So the bike shop that I was buying uh, the pizza rack from had to fashion a piece of metal that kind of bent around to like go under the fork and then attach to the back mounting point. Um, and so of course, because it was going like under the top of the the fork this reduced my tire clearance which has given me a lot of challenges uh with like you know fitting my fenders um into there along with the studded tires that i use during the winter um so that's that's something that you should definitely keep in mind um shout out to bicycle chain uh in uh in roseville for helping me out with that um but um yeah i've, I've had to kind of you know cut and snip parts off of my fenders uh, to get them to not rub against my studded tires. Um, also, having the pizza rack on my bike does make it a little bit more difficult to put it on like uh, a city bus's bike rack. Um, ideally, the the hook on the city bus bike rack that like, you know, is spring loaded and holds the tire in place. Um, that that hook ideally should be placed as high up on the tire as possible, um, but the pizza rack kind of gets in the way of that, and so it's at like an inopportune angle. Um, and I have uh, had instances where like the bus driver has called out to me and said like, "Hey, uh, we're going at highway speeds right now, and I can see that the hook is like slipping off of the tire on your bike, uh, so you should probably take the bike." inside the 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 bus with you uh, under like you know normal circumstances when the city bus is just on city streets uh it's i haven't had any problems um, but that's definitely something to keep in mind i really do love the amount of versatility that uh this pizza rack lends to my whole bike build um you know on on days when i like unexpectedly end up picking up cargo and i either don't have any room in my panniers or i just like i didn't bring any bags with me or whatever um i can usually just plop whatever it is that somebody gave me uh right there on top of the pizza rack and just like secure it down with my cargo net um and that's and it's not a problem it also is like really useful for you know if somebody gives me i don't know like a pie or something like that and it's like well i could easily fit this into my panniers but then it would be sideways um just placing it flat on top of the pizza rack gives me a different option for how to carry things and you know orient the the stuff that i'm carrying with me uh durability no concerns. Um, I've had a couple of screws that have come loose sometimes, uh, you know, while my bike is, is rattling around. Um, but you know, it's not hard to tighten those back down. Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't had any of like the tubes, uh, bending or anything like that. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a rack that connects to your bike. It attaches to your bike at the points where the bike is built to take all of that weight. So, you know, I don't, I don't have any concerns there. So final thoughts, uh, this rack is definitely one of my favorite things about my bike build, and it's easily the most unique. Um, I once, uh, there was a kid on the light rail who, you know, was looking at my bike and, and he said, I've never seen a bike like that before. And I like looked at him and I'm like, it's a pretty normal bike. Like, I don't know. What are you talking about? Um, but I think I'm pretty sure that he was just like, you know, because the pizza rack gives the bike just a completely different like silhouette. Um, and, you know, it, it looks totally different than what you normally see on a bike. Um, you know, it, it really caught his attention. Um, I definitely, you know, whenever I'm like out and about, if I see another bike that has a pizza rack on it, I kind of feel compelled to like take a picture of the bikes together just because like that's it's kind of a special moment. Um, one, uh, pro tip that I have, if you do end up uh, buying the pizza rack is that, um, so the, the top 
you know, platform, of course, is not like a solid platform. It's just, you know, a, a bunch of those uh, same railings that make up the rest of the rack, just, you know, parallel next to each other. Um, so stuff that's on top of the rack is kind of liable to get like grime and stuff splashed up onto it from your tire. So what I did is I took an old yard sign and I cut it down to size um, and I zip tied it to the underside of that top platform uh, on my pizza rack so that, yeah, things aren't going to get quite as wet. Um, look in the show notes again for a picture of that. Thanks for listening to this episode of Second Opinion. I have been your host, Ian R. Buck. You can find me on Twitter as Ian R. Buck. This episode is released under a Creative Commons attribution license, so feel free to use any or all of it as you see fit, as long as you link back to the original page, which once again is thenexus.tv slash SO89. If you have thoughts on the pizza rack, you can uh, discuss it with our other listeners on our subreddit at reddit.com slash r slash thenexustv. Second Opinion is supported by listeners like Quentin Pongratz, who voluntarily joined us on Patreon. If you would like to help out as well and get some cool perks along the way, you can find us at patreon.com slash thenexustv. Until next time, have a good one. The Nexus. The Nexus. The Nexus TV. Podcasts from from the the Technological technological Convergence. Convergence. Technology is ever-evolving. It touches every part of our lives, both influencing and being influenced by society. I'm Ian Arbuck, and I know it's hard to stay on top of everything you need to know to live in this digital world. That's why, every month on The Extra Dimension, we explore a different aspect of the technological convergence. Find it on our website, thenexus.tv, or by searching for The Extra Dimension in your favorite podcast player.